Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is adding and subtracting one step and two step word problems. This is part one. Remember third graders, believe you can and you will. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the, des the description box so that you can sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's look at some vocabulary words we may see when looking at adding and subtracting word problems. Now, one thing that I will say third graders, these are not all of the words that you will see, but they're common words or a, uh, most times these are the words you will see, but you may see some others, okay? For addition, we have sum, total, plus, in all, all together, and, perimeter, join, increase by, together, and add it to. For subtraction, we have difference, minus, less than, fewer, take away, decreases, how many more, exceed, and remain. Let's dive into our first word problem. And remember, we have our third grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Number 24 says, Alicia listed the amounts she paid for guitar lessons for three months. For February, she paid $78, March, $90, and for April, $156. What is the amount Alicia paid for guitar lessons for these three months? Was it F, $314, G, $324, H, $114 or J, $325. In order to answer this question, the first thing we're going to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the amount that Alicia paid for guitar lessons for the three months. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next question is, what information can help us find the answer? Well, the information we need is the amount she paid for each month. And again, for February, it's $78, March, $90, and April, $156. Now we know we can solve our problem. Well, how do we do that? We are going to add the amounts because it says, what is the amount for February, March, and April, okay? So let's add our numbers together. Let's start with the ones place. We have eight plus six, that is 14. So we're going to put down our four and carry our plus one to the tens place. Adding the plus one, we have seven plus one is eight, plus nine is 17, plus four, Five is 22. We're going to put our two down and carry our plus two to the hundreds place. We have two plus one, that is equal to three. So the total amount for guitar lessons is $324. Now that we have added all of our totals, we can ask ourselves, well, what is the correct answer? In order for us to find that, all we need to do is look at our answer choices and find the one that says 324. Do you see the answer choice? Yes, it is G. Good job, third graders. G is our correct answer. Now let's look at question number 25. 
Addison started with $87 in her bank account. She put $213 into her account last week and another $137 this week. What is the total amount Addison now has in her bank account? So in order to solve this problem, what are we gonna ask ourselves? Yes, what are we looking for? We are looking for the total amount. Oh, we know what that means. We're gonna add the total amount Addison now has in her bank account. Now that we know that, the next thing we're gonna ask ourselves is, what information can help find the answer? So the information that can help us find the answer are the following. Number one, Addison started with $87 in her bank account. Two, she put $213 in her account last week. And three, she put $137 in her account this week. Now that we have that information, how are we going to solve the problem? We need to add the amounts of money Addison put into her account. So let's dive in and do that now. Starting with the ones place, we have seven plus three, that's 10 plus seven is 17. We are going to write down our seven and carry our plus one to the tens place. Now I have eight plus one, that's nine. And then we have plus another one, that's 10 plus three is 13. I'm going to write down my three and carry my one. Do y'all see Miss Jackson made a mistake and she is going to change it while she is doing the video. Please forgive my typo. It's actually plus one. So let's add our hundreds place. We have one plus two is equal to three plus one is four. So the total amount of money that Addison deposited into her account is $437. Now that we know that, we can answer our question. What is the correct answer? Well, it's the total amount of money and that is $437. That is it third graders for our adding and subtracting word problems part one. Remember, if you need a tutor, parents, you can sign up for a free consultation. And also we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.